Okay, firefighters were called to the scene this morning about 10:13 by actually a passerby who reported heavy smoke coming from the, the building. Fire trucks would arrive moments later. There was heavy smoke coming from the roof of the building. Also, flames beginning to break through the roof of the middle of the building. Firefighters were met with a pretty intense fire when they arrived on the scene. They were also met with numerous challenges to battle this blaze. There were uh, small propane tanks like you can see on a gas grill uh, stacked up against the front of the building. This is not only a supermarket, it's also a restaurant, uh, all one business. Uh, there were also power lines across the building uh, that serviced this building that were in, enveloped in flames. Uh, firefighters had an intense fire. They made entry into the building, were only inside a few moments, met with heavy heat, heavy fire conditions, quickly deteriorating building conditions. Uh, they were forced out of the building and had to battle this blaze from the outside. Uh, at the height of the fire, there were some 50 firefighters operating at the scene trying to put this fire out to protect the nearby exposures. Where we flowed two aerial ladder trucks uh, on to the building, copious amounts of water, uh, also hand lines trying to keep this fire contained to the original building. Uh, right now, firefighters are doing some demolition work with the Department of Water Resources. We have a utilities tractor out here just to help us pull away some of the debris. Uh, the cause of the fire at this point is undetermined under investigation. Uh, there was no one inside the building. No one actually here at the business at all when firefighters arrived. They were not open at the time. Uh, we have since talked to uh, people who are associated with this business and investigators are trying to determine exactly what happened.